chapter 4, uh, Abraham, his faith was credited to him for righteousness. And we'll see how we're declared righteousness due to our faith in Christ. So the first um, section we'll uh, go over is having peace with God. And we'll look at verses 2 and 3 to see um, what Paul is telling us. The verse
his love toward us, that while we were still sinners, while we were still ugly, while we were still in his mess, how we, um, if we look in Galatians, we can just see all the works of the flesh. God died, died Jesus died for us, willingly laid his life down for us while we were yet sinners. We were weak, we were um, inability to do anything for ourselves. And we all, all of us sin. All of us fell short of the of glory of God. None deserve it. Um, so, at, as I said before, at the fullness of time, God sent his son to die for us. And 1 John Chapter 2, verse 2 says, He is a sacrifice for our sins, and He takes away not only our sins, but the sins of the, of the entire world. Um, that everybody, not just men or women, not just black or white, or the entire world, not just the United States, the entire world, He loved us just that much. Human. Thessalonians, 
some would say, um, or try to overlook Jesus. He was just a prophet. But there is no other way to the Father but through our, uh, his son, Jesus Christ. He hung on that cross. He suffered. He had the nails in his, in his hand and in his feet. He was in agony. He was disrespected. But he hung there for you and for me. And it wasn't just a So